Hey guys, welcome to another video here at Cloud Colubrids. Today was a really, really productive day for me. I got to meet up with one of my favorite California king snake breeders, Tom Stevens. I went by his house just to check out some of his snakes, check out some of the breeders, and check out some of the projects he has going on. I didn't have intentions of buying anything, but it just happened. I got more king snakes. I had to pick up a pair from him and um, one of them just spoke to me and they bit on my finger, wrapped around, and I was like, yep, that's the one. So I'm gonna show you those. I'm gonna show you some of the stock I already had from Tom Stevens. It's gonna be a great video, so stay tuned. So this girl, this was the first snake that I purchased from Tom Stevens. I actually met up with him through another friend. And um, at the time, I didn't even know who Tom Stevens was. And um, he had just came along for the ride. I had picked up a snake from his friend and he had a couple of snakes on him. I guess he was gonna go make some deliveries and he had a couple of extra snakes. And this was one of the snakes he had, the blue-eyed lavender and um, I just fell in love with her. I bought her right then and there, and that's how we met. And um, you know, now we meet up at the shows, Daytona, and uh, he became a really good friend of mine. And that's the first snake that I purchased from him, and I still haven't named her. So definitely gonna think of a name for this blue-eyed lavender. And in the sunlight, you can see she has nice blue eyes. Now this is another girl that I picked up from Tom Stevens and this is a triple het, het blue eyed lavender like the one I just showed you, het hypo and het hypermill. So a three gene animal right there. And I also uh, featured this girl in my previous King Snake Collection series video. So just giving you, giving you a quick glimpse of some of the snakes that I got from Tom Stevens. I'm going to put her back in her bin, show you the next one. So this is my 2019 albino head hypermill from Tom Stevens. Almost glows in the dark when you put it in that shade. And this is my sacred albino male. And this guy has neon pinks, mellow yellows. And when you put him in that nice shaded light, you can see that head stamp and the neon pinks, just a beautiful snake. But this one's one of my most aggressive snakes in the collection, so I'm working on getting him tamed. All right, guys, so you ready to see these snakes I just picked up? I'm gonna show them to you right now. Alright guys, so let me show you the male first. And this one is the male. And he's a hypo. That's a hypo male. Check out that nice head stamp. And ba basically to produce that, uh, Tom bred a hypo to a hypo. And um, there might be other heads in there, but all we know is that it's a regular hypo cowley king. And this is the female. And this girl is hypo, and he believes she is also has het for blue-eyed lavender or another strand of lavender. We're not sure yet, so we're going to have to prove that out. But I got a little display tank here. I'm going to put them in, let you get a better view of them. So I hope everybody's enjoying the video, getting ready for the weekend. Now, earlier today, I recorded the snakes outside in the natural sunlight. So I'm going to show you that video clip. And I'm going to add some nice music to it. No talking, just some nice music, some beautiful snakes. So sit back and enjoy.
so I haven't shown you guys my breeder mice in a while, so let's go check them out. So in this bin, I actually have one male and five females, and you see that one right there? That's what they look like when they're about to give birth. She's real, really, really getting big. And check out the pinkies. Um, I got pinkies of all sizes, little newborns. I got hoppers, fuzzies, and this is just one bin. Really doing well. Now these guys are just a couple of hours old. Just gave birth to these and I got some more in the next bin, but I'm not gonna show you all my pinkies, but they're everywhere. So, so the lights just went out. I got everything on a timer. I started recording this video earlier in the daytime. Now it's nighttime. Um, just goes to show you, there's a lot that goes into the recording. Sometimes I can knock out a recording real quick, but I got real busy today, so I started recording. I had to go do some stuff, continue recording, but you know, that's just how it is sometimes. So I'm gonna wrap up the video, but I just wanted to give a shout out to everybody putting out great content. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos and right now is a perfect time if you're just getting into the hobby because there's so many different breeders and um, collectors that put out different content. Some of the, sh the channels that I like to watch is um, Shovel Nose Hogs, if you like hog snakes. I believe Jermaine is the one that has that channel and he shows all his hog nose snakes, feedings, real good real good channel. I also watch Josue's Exotics. I was watching some milk snake uh, videos earlier today when I was at work and I had some downtime watching that. And if you like boas, pythons, Burmese pythons, Ben at Ben C City Snakes. I'm, I'm actually leave you his name because I'm not even sure how to say the, the name of the channel but um, it's a tongue twister for me, but I'm gonna put it up there. And with that, I'm gonna end the video. I hope everybody's safe and I'll catch you guys in the next one. I hope you guys enjoyed the King Snakes.